Hey Tubies, I'm back again with another segment of Question Time with Chatty Tay. And I have another set of juicy questions for you guys. Um, this one is called STDs from Married Men. So I'm just going to jump right into the questions. Um, and uh, let's go, let's go right ahead, let's do this. Okay, so I have a friend who last summer I pulled aside to let her know I didn't like the fact that she was sleeping around. Oh girl, you pulled her up. Okay, hold on. I have a friend who last summer I pulled aside to let her know that I didn't like the fact that she was sleeping around with married men and even got an STD. Okay, so I guess this first question is from the title. Um, damn, that's a true friend. Ever since then, she rarely speaks to me. For a long time, um, I didn't say a thing allowing her to cry on my shoulder over these men, but it's been going on for, f for years now. Um, I just grew tired of it. Should I feel bad for saying something? So last summer you pulled her aside to let her know you don't like the little whole nastics that she's going on with. And she even got an STD from all this whole shit she's doing. And now she doesn't want to talk to you. Because you decided to speak up after getting tired of seeing all this shit. No, you shouldn't feel bad for saying something. I'm glad you said something. You're a real friend. Because for me, if I see my friend doing that too, I'm going to pull her up too and be like, yo, what's going on? Like, what's really going on? Like, I'm not saying there's a certain amount of men you should be sleeping with. I'm just saying if you see your friend out of her character sleeping around a lot and you notice that she did get it. She obviously cried on your shoulder and told you she got an STD. And she's sleeping around with married men and, and, and you have to hear about all of this. You should be able to speak to her and tell her exactly how you feel. Like, for me, hell yeah, I would tell you. And she's not speaking to you anymore because you're not co-signing on her bullshit. All the nasty shit she's doing, you're not sitting there letting her cry on your shoulder anymore. So she has nobody to talk to about the bullshit that she's doing. That's the only reason why she's, she's not talking to you anymore. Um, I don't think she was really ever your friend. Because... As a friend, what friend is going to sit around watching you, like, destroy yourself or, like, yeah, just, like, damage yourself. Like, you're not, you're not getting anything positive from these relationships except STDs and a man that's not yours. So, I wouldn't feel bad about it. And if she doesn't want to talk to you anymore, oh, well, that's her loss. You did the right thing. So, clap it up and pop your collar because you did the right thing, girl. I would have done the same thing. She just doesn't want, she just doesn't want to talk to you because she doesn't want to hear the truth and you're telling her the truth like what she's doing is dangerous not safe and it's not helping her in any way um especially if she's crying over your shoulder she's getting diseases from this like clearly it's not just fun this is more deep than that and she needs to deal with herself so you did the right thing okay okay comment below because i'm sure y'all have your own opinions on this let me know what you think um okay the next question is i want to get married my man and I have been together for two years. Two years you guys been together. Okay. I, decide, I decided to withhold sex until we're married. Me, okay, side eye for sure on that just in the beginning of the question. Let me just, okay, let me not judge. Let me read. Okay, I decided to withhold sex until we're married, meaning no sex until he puts a ring on it so that he knows how serious I am. How long should I wait for him to propose? Okay, girl, this is not the right way to handle this, girl. You about to get cheated on. Um, I, I would, I would not say withholding sex is the right way to get somebody to put a ring on it. No, that's just going to push you guys further away from each other. In my opinion, um, two years, you guys been together for two years. Okay. So just why not have a serious conversation with him and just see if he's on the same page with you. Some guys, they just need, they need that push. They're not as their mind is not on that as deep as your mind's on that and it doesn't mean that they don't love you as much it's just, they're just different than we are and I feel like if that's something you want you need to speak about what you want you need to stand, sit down with him stand up in front of him and let him know like where are we going with this relationship where do you see us in the, in the next year what do you want do you want to get married do you ever see that's a conversation that needs to happen in every relationship that is moving forward in a serious manner like because you want to know what you're you're going to get into what you're getting um, I feel like no sex, like taking sex away from him as like a form of punishment to get him to make a bigger move. That's like stuff you see in the movies. And that's going to just, to me, that would just push him away from you versus make him actually want to go out and buy a ring to get the sex back. Because like, I just don't think that that's the right thing to do. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Girl, girl, 
you need to have a conversation with your man and find out where he is on when it comes to marriage if you've already had sex with him why are you going to take it away from him now like that just doesn't make no sense to me that's just something i personally do not agree that that would work and that will not i feel make him turn it around and if he does end up proposing because you withheld sex it's because he wants the sex not like he seriously wants to marry you and that's also not a good way to get somebody to to do the to do the right thing so girl be careful with that all right next question is we were friends with benefits no strings attached I slept with his friend and now he wants nothing to do with me. What should I do to get him back as my benefits buddy? He was better than his friend. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so so you slept with your friends with benefits guy, you slept with his friend. Thinking because you guys had no strings attached. With guys you can't do that. Guys don't care about no strings attached. They still have a string attached when it comes to their homies, their friends, or knowing at all that you're even sleeping with other people. They don't care about that. You have to make sure that that's like something that they don't ever find out about or they don't know because you will possibly lose the person because their egos are so high their pride is so high you can it's totally different than you finding out that he slept with somebody else but also if you found out that he slept with your friend even in a friends with benefits situation you wouldn't like it so i mean i get i get where he's coming from and then how would you how do you your question is how do you get him back as your benefits buddy since he was better than the friend you went and slept with. Um, I don't know if there's a way to recover this relationship. It might always be awkward, but I would just let him know. Like, honestly, I I thought we were on a strings, no strings attached. I didn't think that that would affect you. Uh, apologize for it, maybe, and then just let him know that yeah, he was better than his friend. Maybe that will help. I don't know. It might boost his ego, and he might give you some more. So. Just know that with this situation, you might not get that friend back and you might have to move on to somebody else. <laughs> that was a funny question. I loved it. Okay, second to last question. I'm a gay man who has been dating this guy for about six months. I recently, excuse me, I recently found out through his mother that he has a four-year-old son. What? Okay, I've been I'm a gay man who's been dating a guy for six months. I recently found out through his mother that he has a four-year-old son. He hasn't once mentioned having a child. This make, made me think about breaking it off. Am I wrong? Um, yes, I would end the relationship. You can't. You, you keep your child a secret? Uh, six months is too long for you not to ever have spoken about your kid. What the hell? Like, no. How do you not date? That's an extension of you. How do you not tell, even if you're gay and you have a kid, who cares? You can change who you are as many times in your life as you want. So if you and if you were not gay before and you have a kid and you're gay now, who cares? Like, who freaking cares? You don't keep that away from people. That's your kid. Like, you should be proud about that extension of who you are. Like, that's who you are. If he hasn't told you about his, his child, his four-year-old child that has been in his life or even if he's not in his life it doesn't matter this is his kid if he hasn't told you or mentioned or even in conversation passing conversation said anything about his son for me personally that's a deal breaker that means you don't care you have no care or you you don't have a heart like even if you have no relationship with the child i feel like that's something that should be brought up if you're in a relationship with somebody six months in is too far like you need to tell me about this in the first month i need to know you have a kid like a kid is something huge that's not something that you should hide so I would end it because naturally that your child should come up in conversation um, especially if you love your child like for me Jada comes up in most of my conversations that I have throughout the day at work when I'm not at work just everywhere in relationships talking with new people like it always comes up that I have a child like and I just feel like that's something that should come up because it's a part of you like I don't know it's crazy maybe 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 because he now identifies like as a gay man, as I was saying, he is ashamed to say that, you know, he dated or slept with a woman. But I just feel like that's so like that's something that I think that if you're gonna come out and be gay, I think that if that's something that you've had in your past, you need to be able to be strong about that too. If you're able to come out and stand up and say I'm a gay man, you should be able to stand up and say I have a child. As a gay man I still have a child. Like who cares? Who cares? Like, who cares? I think that that's wrong, and I think that he should say, he should have told you he has a child. So, 
I would I would personally I would have ended it I mean you can have a conversation depending on how deep you guys are how close you guys are have the conversation with him find out what's his reasonings for it, not telling you and why did you have to find this out from his mom and if he has an explanation that you feel okay with then I guess take it from there but for me no okay the last question is I've been dating a woman for about three months and every time I come over she takes my phone and goes through it as if she's looking for something. I am not a cheater even though even though we haven't discussed being um, exclusive to one another. I like her a lot but I hate this. What should I do? So you guys are not even exclusive. You've been seeing each other for three months. She clearly has trust issues. She doesn't trust you. Um, I would talk to her about it. I feel like clearly she, it seems like she's been hurt before, so she has a lot of trust issues. Um, but she needs to understand with you that there's boundaries, that you're not okay with this. She needs to know that you're not okay with this because if she doesn't, if you don't say anything, she's going to keep doing it and it's going to keep bothering you and drive a wedge between you and this relationship won't go anywhere. Um, I think that you just need to let her know how you feel about it. Let her know, like, this makes me feel like you don't trust me. Um, personally, um, like, in my relationship, we go through each other's phones, but it's not its not as if we're looking for something. It's not as if every time we come home from somewhere or every time we get a chance, we go, we grab the phone to kind of search for something. It's more of like uh, maybe we're bored and we're kind of around, we're just bored and I'm, I'm around your phone and I'm tired of what's in my phone, so I go through your phone type thing. Like I do go through my girlfriend's phone all the time and she goes through my, through my phone all the time as well, but it's, it's a different feeling. Like I don't get the feeling like, oh, she's looking for something. It's more of like she's bored and vice versa. So I think that um, clearly she's doing it in a way where it's showing you that she doesn't trust you. So I think you have to have that conversation with her that you don't mind her being in your phone, but it just feels like it's it's that she's looking for something every time that she sees you and, and, and you don't like that. And if she doesn't change it after the conversation, then I mean, it is only three months in. Three months is when I think that you get to know more of the person and you kind of understand if this is a person that you want to move forward with and since you guys are not exclusive exclusive yet it will kind of make it easier if you have to break it off based off of her being um untrustworthy because it's so early in your relationship and you haven't caused you haven't done anything to make her feel this way um so yeah i would definitely just have the conversation with her you say you like her a lot you hate this have the conversation and let her know you like her a lot but you hate this all right um so that was the last question, Tuies. Uh, comment below what your opinion would have been, what your advice would have been, what you think about my advice, and please send me some more questions. These questions are just getting juicier and juicier by the minute, and I love it. So thanks so much, Tuies. Bye!